Hey there ladies and gentlemen, this is the Bearded Gamer, and today we will be playing a story about my uncle. So we're nearing the end of this great indie game. Alright, let us continue from where we left off. If I'm not mistaken, I think, I'm not sure if that offer is over, it was just for a day I think. It's at 85% off and you can actually get the game for 194 euros instead of 12.99 is the normal price. I'm not sure. I'm being honest. Okay, wait. Where were we? All right. Yeah, we're going this way. Okay, yeah, it was the icy caves where you can't you can't just grapple onto anything, which we don't like, but it's challenging. I guess that's why they did it in the game, right? Makes total sense. Alright. So. Okay. I have a... I'm, I really feel that, like, we're v extremely close to the end. How could Fred leave stuff behind everywhere? How much was he carrying? As I remember it, Fred wasn't that good at keeping track of all his things. Like you. Yeah, hey, and me. it's not like you're any better. Sorry. Anyway, Fred counted Sorry. on losing a few things on each of his journeys. He always brought more stuff than he needed. For a paddling okay. trip we had, Let's he brought on. so many life jackets, we could barely fit ourselves in the canoes. Isn't it hard to lose track of a life jacket if you're wearing it? Uh, <laughs> Good smart point. ass little girl. I didn't really think of that. Wait, uh, oh. Oh no, we're stuck here. I could have done better, and it, that should have worked. Me thinks. Me thinks that should have worked. Okay, so let's try. No, huh? So, how am I? Oh. Okay, wait, wait. Seriously? Okay, let's get there. Now, we don't really need to get there. We can just do this. Okay. I just wasted one. Oh, there's a collectible. I can hear it. Okay, so this is going to be difficult because now we're just trying to, you know, not die and get through the level. Ah. Oh, seriously. Oh, wow. This is going to be very annoying. I can already tell. Okay. Okay, we want that one. We want that one. That. That. And stop there. Excellent. Please give me a checkpoint. I'll take that as a no. I will not give you a checkpoint. Okay. Whoo wee. Okay. Oh, yeah, but where's the checkpoint? I mean, the. I could hear the collectible. I don't know what's the point of actually getting collectibles to be really honest there it is so yeah I'm not sure if you gain something if you get them all or something like that I doubt it to be really honest Fred's campsite noticeably newer than the others probably just the an fire achievement was still smoldering and I could faintly pick up the smell of the aftershave he always used okay I was closing in on him I could feel it all right, so we're very close. Behind that I could use to repair my boots. Nice. Okay. Okay. So now we're repairing the boots. Excellent. Good as new. Okay. So the way I'm seeing it now, we can go there and there and there and move ahead, move along, or just do what our uncle did and just. I guess. No, no. Oh, well, okay. Or just, you know, 
Uh, do it our own way. Oh, we're not gonna have to go through the whole repair the boots thing again, are we? Okay, no. Okay. Very good. Alright. This seems to be a nice and safe way to go about it. Oh, why are there... Oh, man. Is there some sort of shortcut that you could get here from earlier parts? I don't know. I don't know, but it could be. No. Is it possible, you guys think? Okay, so this is a checkpoint. It means we're on the right path. And now we need to make like a big jump and uh, grapple onto that. Okay. Oh, barely. Oh, man. Oh, man. Barely did it, man. Okay, I didn't even need to Buried actually. Buried beneath the ice, you could still see signs of what this place had once been. Something not unlike the caves where the village lay. The Ice Age must have come suddenly, washing over it like a freezing tsunami. Now it lay desolated, haunting anyone who dared visit with falling stalactites, sharp icicles, and its bottomless depths. Seriously, this place is getting... And we actually climbed all of this, like, slowly, through various levels, let's say. Okay, now what? Oh, oh, okay. That's not the way. That's not the way to go. Well, where do we go now? Okay, I'm seeing those recharge the thingamabobs up there, but does that mean we have to go up there? Because this is getting... Oh. Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay, and? And now what? Is there a cave here? No? I have no idea where I'm supposed to get to right now. Mm -hmm. So we're going this way. <laughs> We're not knowing if it's the correct way to go to, but let's just let's just play along. Ah, oh, no. Oh, oh. I might. I hope I'm not going back to where I started. I have this strange feeling that that's exactly what I'm doing. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Wait, what is this? I don't remember this. Did our uncle use this to get here? Oh man, I, I have a bad feeling I'm going backwards. Are we? Uh, I'm, I'm so confused. This is... Oh. We can go there. I don't see the point. You know what? Let's just go here and see what there is. And let's just hope... It's ah uh, the right thing to do. Is this a checkpoint? It is. Okay, so we are going the right way. Excellent. And and now what? So we got the checkpoint and we're stuck again. Oh man. No hand holding in this game, huh? Oh, it's not even letting you go here. So you have to go this way, I guess. Oh, okay, uncle. I'll follow your footsteps, man. Okay, so he grappled onto that. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. And another checkpoint. Excellent. <clears throat> All right. Ah, oh, did I really miss that? Ah, oh, come on, man. 
Yeah, it's fine. The checkpoint we have is very close. How did I? Never mind. I almost did it again. Oh, okay, so now it's the falling thingamabobs. Oh, really? So, oh, you can't even use the crystals if, if you're out of... Oh, that's so stupid, man. Okay, okay. It's safe. Safe, but no checkpoint. So, not that safe. But better than nothing. Okay, so now we continue. There's one right there. Okay. Ooh, wee! Oh man, that's so close! Oh, please give me a checkpoint. Oh my lord. Oh, here it is. Oh, this is not a checkpoint. Shit. Oh boy. This is getting dangerous. Okay. Let's just move on, guys. No reason to delay it. Fred oh, nice. I took some comfort in knowing that whatever problems I face now, Fred would have faced them too. And, and beaten them. Beaten them. If he could do it, I could do it too. Maybe he's better than you, man. Uncle Fred is like the bomb. Okay, let's go. Okay. Ah, I could have grappled. Never mind. This is good too. Okay, yes. We're doing well, we're doing very well. We're doing amazingly well. Okay, let's not overdo it, right? Okay, now we go. We can go this way, or we can go around. Uh, what's the difference? Because I saw some stuff here that you can go. You know what? Let's go this way. Because, no reason. Just cause. Boom! Oh. Oh. There was literally no reason to go that way. It was just a longer way. Okay. Well, at least we didn't die, so we don't have to repeat it. Okay. Oh, that was... Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a fail. Now we reset. Okay. Okay, so we're doing very well. I think... I didn't expect me to do all of this one try. I'm not sure if I have... To, uh, are we supposed to get there? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's go as far as we can. Oh, nice. We actually made it without having to use the, the boots. Excellent. But, again, <laughs> it's so confusing. I don't know where to go now. I do not know where to go. I came here, and there was a checkpoint. Thank God. Uh, but, oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, let's just... No. Let's just do this. Oh, really? There's there's lit. Oh, wow! What was that? Oh, this this is probably is the right way to go. Actually, okay. I did not expect to figure it out by mistake. Oh, I probably didn't actually. Oh wait. 
Oh no, I, I, I could have. Ow. Oh wow, I actually did figure it out by mistake. This is a checkpoint. Okay, if you say so. Excellent. Okay, we don't even need that at this point. Freaking awesome, dude. Okay. We're doing well, guys. We're doing much better than I expected for this level with the ice not letting you grapple it was dark oh. all around me. It's becoming but all there was interesting. A light at the end of the tunnel. Well, well, that was that was cut short. It felt like it bugged or something. So it's oh, there is a light in, uh, indeed. Ooh, this looks interesting. <gasps> Who's that? Is that Fred? Have we found Fred finally? Uncle Fred. <laughs> Uncle Fred. Oh my god. Finally. Hi Fred. <gasps> Uncle Fred. I finally found him. My little boy. I'm glad to see you. And you're wearing the suit I made you. Oh, you made it for How me. Can you be here? I said that I found the suit in his workshop and that I came looking for him. Oh, I'm sorry for being away for so long. But I've been busy down here, you see. The frog people. That was an experiment of mine. Do you remember the eggs I found before? I sent them here by accident, and I had to follow. Okay. By the time I got here, they were already growing. These caves were empty before, but my experiment has made them full of life. I've conducted research on them and documented everything about them. And I built a new crystal-powered pad to be able to get back to my colleagues, oh. show them how fantastic this all is. Well, I like teleport. Fred told him about Maddie, how we came all the way to Starhaven together, and that I had promised to ask him if he would go see her there. Madeline. My little Maddie. Mad Maddie. Well, let's not forget ourselves. We should have taken her to see Starhaven long ago. She was always so curious about the street. He sort of looks like me. Am I? Well, I Am I Uncle Fred? I wanted to protect her. Or rather, protect myself from losing her. Uncle Fred's so cool, man. I've changed my mind. About I'm what? I'm not going home. Well, what okay. Does research or praise matter when I can be here with these creatures? They need me. And well, it's just as well. I don't trust this pad for more than one ride anyway. Your head is you was going crazy that. there. I didn't want to go home. And I asked if I could stay with him and Maddie instead. I'm sorry, nephew. As much as I enjoy having you here, you must go home. You can't tell me what Explore to do, man. The world on your own. Have your own adventures. I reluctantly agreed to go home. I no, I didn't. I was going to miss my uncle. I will miss you too, but I'm sure you'll do phenomenal on your own. And don't worry about me or Maddie. You'll be fine. The pad is yours, boy. When you're ready. So wait, that was it. We just discovered him. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, that was it? I hope there's a part two. Oh, that's such a cool game. Okay. Alright, so we've just finished the game. So, it was all about finding our Uncle Fred, which we did in the end. And then, he just sent us back. So, it was all about the getting there part. So, that, that was what the game was all about. So, a few words about the game. Um, sure, it's a very interesting concept. Uh, the glove that you grapple and get to things, it makes trick jumping, you know, fun for e even for people that don't know what trick jumping is or was, you know, before the game. Either way, there's no shooting, there's no killing, it is just platform jumping from A to B using your special powers and your boots and all that, your glove and your boots, and all you need to do is go find your uncle. 
the only part where there was something like, uh, you know, an enemy was that eye thing in one of the levels where you, if he, if it looks at you, it kills you or something. But again, uh, all it did was basically <laughs> return you back to one yeah. of the checkpoints. Yeah. Oh, okay, no. wait. Good night, sweetie. Oh, wait, wait, Dad, does that mean Fred is still there? Who knows? That was the last time I saw him. Don't you miss him? I do, sometimes. But I don't worry about him, because I know that wherever he is, he's on his biggest adventure yet. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, we're actually not done. So anyway, where was I? Yeah, yeah, I was just saying that the graphics... Dear Fred, today... Are also great. I into the lobby of your house for the last time. My daughter asked me to tell her about an adventure, and I came to think of you. Wow, I'm I'm actually feeling very attached to the characters of the game. I'm you know feeling like oh my god, I'm about to finish the game. I I don't Your want to. Your house looks just like my mother and I left it years ago. After you'd gone, I was sure she was going to throw out all your stuff, but she just cleaned up. We made you a small memorial. I looked at the memorial. For okay. a while, I came here every day, just like I used to. Oh, look at this room. Sometimes, man. I could even faintly hear your voice calling from the observatory, asking me to get you this tool or that. I never told my mother about that day. I don't think she would have believed me. Can I believe it? After all these years. Okay, and now we're going into his lab. That's where we found the suit, right? <clears throat> In the beginning of the game, I think, if I remember correctly. I probably don't. Splat! Imagine that. Hmm. Uncle Fred, thanks to you, I have found an even greater adventure. Thank you. Oh, nice. Love, your nephew. Oh my god, stop it. This is such a great game. Oh, man. Okay. So, where was I? Okay, so I was just saying with a few words that there's no killing. There's nothing. It's just your grapple glove that has three charges. <clears throat> and you have your boots with the boost thing that you can, you know, make you travel some distances on, on air. <clears throat> that was it. That's all you got. And you can grapple onto places and go from A to B, so that's what it is. But the story they're telling you is very nice. The graphics are great. The the atmosphere, the surroundings are amazing in the game. They look so cool. I mean, that little uh, village that we reached with Maddie, where she stayed, where we were looking at the ice mountain before we went there. I would live there like that. It looks so amazing. Anyway, so the graphics are great. I got it on a discount for like two euros, maybe less. I think it's still on discount. I'll I'll uh, put it in the link description if it is. This is a great game, honestly. If you want something, you know, a change on your typical game that you play, where which involves killing and weapons and swords and stuff like that, I love that stuff. But this is different, and that's why it's awesome. Apart from the great graphics and the great uh, audio recording, I mean the voiceovers and the music is nice and relaxing. It looks really good. So I highly recommend this game. It is great. Now at the end, I, I really felt, you know, like I was part of the story. So that's what I liked about it. So either way, that was it, guys. Thank you for watching. This was the final part of a story about my uncle. This is the Bearded Gamer. Oh,